It's Richard Geller here. The question I get a lot of is, I want to sell all my credit cards and be debt free. Or, I want to do principal reductions with the bank and I want to play hardball, but I'm afraid that all this is going to hit my credit report. I'm afraid that I may end up having to file for bankruptcy or that I'll have a foreclosure or that I'll have all these lates and my FICO score will be messed up for years. So in this video, I want to show you how you can fix that stuff, how it's not true, how you can actually settle these debts, and you can even get through a bankruptcy and you actually remove it from your, your credit. You can remove bankruptcies, foreclosures, lates, charge-offs using this simple method you're going to learn right now. It means that you can then go ahead and not be afraid. You can be fearless in selling your cards, getting principal reductions on your mortgage, do a short sale, get rid of investor-owned properties that are underwater that are just going to be years away from, from being a capital gain for you. That's great news. So what I want you to do is when you watch this and learn this method, I want you to be debt-free in six to nine months. I want you running your own business that's bringing in an income. Start with a goal, if you have no business right now, of $1,000 just to start. $1,000 is a great start. You don't have to have a goal to make a million dollars a year right now. Uh, and do you already have a business? How would it be if you doubled your income, tripled your income, quadrupled it this year? Hey, if you're not distracted by all these payments and totally just strapped, maybe you're saving money like one of my subscribers who said they're saving $1,000 a month now, you're going to be able to, to, to invest that money in a business. You're going to, it's a whole different ballgame at that point. So here's the method. What you're going to do is you're going to settle. When you settle, I don't want you to send a dime into a lender without having a written agreement that's signed by the lender. Always have a written agreement when you settle. In the written agreement, you're going to, of course, get a complete release of liability so that you don't owe any more money, like a... They take 10, 10 cents on the dollar and it's full and complete payment and you're released from further liability, of course. But here we're focusing on credit. What you want to do is ask them to remove derogatories on your credit. Now, if they won't do that, ask them that in the, in the agreement, write that, you'll, uh, that they agree simply not to answer the credit bureau's investigation. Just not to answer, and you'll understand that in a moment. Even if they don't agree to this, you still can use this method because it still can work great, but it's certainly better if they just agree not to answer the credit bureau's investigation. Now, here's how it works. You're going to settle with them. Once you settle, you then challenge the credit reports. You go to TransUnion, Experian, and uh, Equifax. You don't go to the banks. You go to the credit bureaus. That's how this works. And you write them on ordinary letter, certified mail, return receipt requested. Don't use the website to challenge. Don't use the web. Don't use the phone. You must use um, a postal letter. The credit bureau <clears throat> must investigate. All you have to say is, this isn't mine, this isn't me, whatever. You just have to say, it's not me. They have to investigate. That's the law. Then what they do is they send a letter to the city or the county or the bank, and if they don't get a response in 30 days, which they generally won't, then the item is automatically removed from your credit, and your FICO can shoot right up. That's how this works. It's very, very simple. It's all written in the law. And you can file a number of these challenges. You can do one after the other. You can, you know, do it based on one thing or another thing. And if it doesn't work the first time, it'll work the second or the third time. Now you've removed some lates and charge-offs. And you've even removed bankruptcies and foreclosures from your credit report. If someone asks you to uh, state, let's say, under penalty of perjury, whether you've had a bankruptcy or foreclosure, you have to say yes. You can't lie. But it's gone from your credit report. Most folks won't look beyond your credit report anyway, and you can end up with a great FICO score and be debt-free inside of a year, even sooner than that. If you think this has been helpful, please visit LoanModBreakthrough.com if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else. Remember, I'm not an attorney or expert. Uh, don't listen to me without checking things out for yourself. Good luck, and uh, please let me know how you're doing. Post a comment on the blog and, and let us know how you're doing in your uh, quest to be debt-free and in your own business. Richard Geller, thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.